Tony, what do you think? We're rehearsing for Swan Lake here? You're like a ballerina up on your tiptoes. Keep your center of gravity low. I keep telling you this. Don't make me come over there and knock you over myself. Hi. I want to sign up to train with I don't train boxing for fitness to soccer moms, okay? I train fighters. So let's not waste each other's time, all right? You can go now. I said you can go now. I paid your manager for a couple of sessions up front. If you don't want to teach me, then don't. I'll work out on my own. Don't let the punching bag punch you back. Where can I get gloves? Beside the locker room. Sorry, we don't have any pink ones. Crazy everyone left hours ago. But you're still here. Look. Keep 80% of your weight on your right foot. And when you punch, you turn your foot. Yeah? Okay. Better. Now widen your stance just a little bit. Not bad. Come back next week, we'll talk about your training. Now get out of here, I gotta lock up the gym. Thank you. Scatterbrain. to be happy. Oh no, sweetheart. You are my property. You have no right here. Coach, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You forgot something at my gym. Oh, thanks. Try to be more careful. You can uh, use that in your boxing, too. Mm, thank you very much. Um, can I have a, a glass of water? Um, no. <laughs> now, come on. There's no need to be stingy. It's just a glass of water. Oh, my God. I can't believe my eyes. Dave Fury. You're the greatest middleweight fighter ever. I watched most of your games when I was a kid. You know, I wanted to be like you. Ah, it's a pleasure. You must be Maggie's husband. The one and only. What are you doing here? Uh, well, uh, Maggie left her wallet at my gym, so I thought I'd come by and uh, give it back to her. Your gym? What, are you taking boxing classes now? Um, or sort of... Uh, it's more of a fitness thing. <laughs> Dave Fury teaches... fitness. Well, you gotta make ends meet somehow. Fitness is a gold mine. You know, there's a lot of... girls come to my gym to stay in shape. <laughs> well, you gotta be careful with this one. She's such an idiot. She took a huge fall today while hang curtains. Didn't you, honey? She did. Terrible. Well, you know, I should get going. Thanks for the water. You didn't have any. Fuck you out. Oh, no, honey, let me do it. Why don't you go upstairs and just get comfy? You know, sometimes it's better to pretend that nothing happened. 
it might be very, very profitable, if you know what I mean. Good day. You have a good day, too. Good work today. Hit the showers. You're late. I couldn't come earlier because my husband gave me a parenting talk about boxing classes. He doesn't like your training. Don't you get it? Don't you really understand what goes on in my house every single day? Don't you get it? Why? I want to get stronger! Hey, 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 hey. Real fight? It's not in here. You can't beat violence with the same violence. Do you think it's that easy? I've tried divorce. I've tried running away. I've tried telling other people. Do you know how powerful he is? His lawyers will shut down any cases without publicity. Well, we'll make it so public that everyone will know about it. You think it's easy? It's not. When I'm around him, don't even want to open my mouth. When I see his clenched fist, tears come out from my eyes and I can do nothing with it. Let me help you. Teach me how to fight. You can't beat him that way. I wouldn't win. I want revenge. You will. I promise. Come in. May I? <laughs> Can Dave Fury sit in my office? Yes, yes, and yes. Sit down, Dave. You want coffee? Tea? No, thanks. I'm here to talk to you about your wife. Oh, Dave. You and I are so much alike. I also wanted to talk to you about my wife. Oh, yeah? Listen, Dave. Neither you nor I are idiots. We all know what's happening. It just... She makes so many mistakes. And I'm there to correct her. How often do you, uh, correct her? <laughs> uh, she messes up dinner, even though she doesn't have much responsibilities in the house, Dave. Dave, I can't just explain it to her. I have to go deeper than that, you know? Well, I've heard enough. Hey, sit down, Dave! <clears throat> you know, what are the main traits of uh, an intelligent man? That an intelligent man can listen till the end. Dave, I've gotten to know that you have some money issues with your gym, but you almost got me with a fitness story, huh? <laughs> I can help you. I have an opportunity to give you um, a new gym. Or shut down yours with a single phone call. You want to buy my silence? I'm going to buy your silence, believe me. I've shut so many people up. Dave, would you want to really go through all these problems for some woman? Listen to me. You can get your legendary career back, but this time as a coach, and I'll help you. But I have one condition. Let's name the gym after me, huh? It would be my pleasure. I'll set the press conference and we'll film it. Get your career back. You're still the champion, aren't you, Fury? Listen, we have our own slip-ups, okay? And I had mine. It happens to the best of us. 
a Dave. Everything is in your hands now. Could I get that, Jim? Anytime. Tomorrow. I'll just have to go through some paperwork. Okay, then do the paperwork. I knew you'd agree. making the right choice. A real coach I decided to decorate this gym for the opening. I'm glad it means so much to you. No, I couldn't have done it any other way. Uh, could I have a moment uh, of your time? Oh, there's a lot of press and journalists here today. Today, I want to tell you guys about a big step that I'm taking. My gym, well, it didn't have a name, and that's wrong. A gym should have a name that inspires its athletes, that gives them hope, that makes them go forward, that makes them better people. So I decided to name my gym after the strongest fighter that I've ever met. This person's never even stepped foot inside a ring. Power of will. Well, I can defeat anyone. So I've decided to name my gym after Maggie Johns. Maggie John's husband, Mike John's, uh, likes to regularly think that he can take advantage of her because he's physically stronger than her. Her husband, in real life, is really a monster. He beats his wife regularly, and he calls it his parenting talk. So I ask anyone and everyone, give this story as much publicity as you possibly can. Maggie, tell us, is this true? No, it's not true. Yes, this is all true. John, we got a situation over here. Oh, you already know. So how fast is it spreading? What are we gonna do? John, what are, what are we gonna do? What, what, okay, what am I gonna do? You can't quit, you're my lawyer. Okay, what do you mean it's a dead case? John, you got me from the situation worse than that. John! What's up? What did the lawyer say? He's been charged. You were right, Dave. I was so afraid of him. I thought I was all alone and there was no help. He intimidated me so much that I would never go against him. <laughs> but staying silent tolerate you need and being afraid, that's not the answer. 
and beat him without throwing a single punch. Just like I promised. Thanks to you, Dave. Thank you. Maggie. Yes? Tomorrow, 11.30. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. My name's Karen, Karen Yan. Um, I'm the new cook here. You have no right to be here because this is a man's profession. We have a very important guest right now. He's famous restaurant critic. What did you order? A piece of English beef pie, sir. Let's make a bet. I'll make an English pie. If it is as good as yours, you'll hire me. If it's not, I'll quit and leave you my pay for today. Deal? 